Rob comes in regarding a RAM upgrade question, DDR4 to DDR5. Rob says he's wanting to upgrade from DDR4 to DDR5. He currently has 4400 MHz CL19 kit. What speed and timings would I need to upgrade in order to see an actual upgrade? So he's got 4400 of DDR4 and he wants to know what DDR5 to get. Nothing. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Nothing. That is that is amazing RAM. 44, DDR4, 44, 44 that is expensive RAM. Well, it used to be well, expensive. Okay. It, it was. It was expensive. I remember when that was really expensive. <laughs> 4,000 was expensive. Yes, it was. I've got 32 gigs of 4,000 CL19 on my test bench, on my 10900K test bench. Yeah. But I bought that several years ago. Correct. That was mucho. That was not a sample. I paid for that. So to answer his question, nothing. CL19 on 4,400 is incredibly tight timings. Benchmarks would show a difference going to DDR5 on a new platform. Yes. But this is minor. I mean, you're looking at a very small overall real-world difference. Because what are you going to go to? Well, 6,000 has now sort of become standard. It wasn't when DDR5 first launched. But DDR5, 6,000, CL30 is sort of the standard. But 6,000 CL30 is in some regards slower than 4,400 CL19. Gonna say, yeah. Because while the 6000 makes up for the higher cast life, quick primer, higher clocked RAM is good. Lower CL rating is good. That's the cast latency rating. Like closer to one. Yes. When so you say you're that. not going to get to one. But yes, no, the closer okay. to one, the better your CL rating. So 19 is better. However, it's a combination of cast rating and RAM speed that makes the number. Mm -hmm. The 6000 compensates somewhat for the higher CL rating. But 6,030 is not, an, it's not fast enough RAM to compensate for CL19 4,400. CL19 would be more like you know, 3,600 or 3,800. 4,400 is really fast at CL19. Now there is faster DDR5 out now. There's 6,400, there's 7,200. I don't believe any of those are 30 yet in the CL ratings, but they will get there. There are, there's talk that later this year we'll be getting uh, DDR5 8000 yeah. and 8400, although those might very well be at CL40 or CL42 for a while. Exactly. A year or two from now, we may very well see DDR5 10,000. We will get to 10,000 at some point. And we may even very well get to 10,000 CL50. Okay. Which would blow 4400 CL19 into the dirt. So there's nothing... But it will be really expensive. Yep. It isn't out. Correct. And new CPUs will be out. And the entire platform will have changed. Correct. So this entire conversation has nothing to do with this current situation. So I would absolutely keep that RAM. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. I would, don't waste your money. Take the money you're thinking of spending and put it into the Hip Pocket National Bank and, just wait. and wait for the next big move. For you, DDR5 8000 is probably that move. And only when the price becomes reasonable and probably 
That might not even be on LG eighteen fifty one. That might not be on uh, Arrow. Do you think it'll be Beast? Beast seventeenth gen? Mm. It'll. It, it might be three years before eight thousand with a low cast latency at a reasonable price, with reasonable expectation of it working. It does not matter what RAM you buy, it may not work. Yeah. My thirteen nine hundred K test bench at the office. It has a really nice MSI carbon. Z690 motherboard on it, 13900K CPU, latest BIOS. I have got a very, very nice RAM kit on there. It's just two sticks, not four. It's a single kit. DDR5 6400 CL32 Trident Z5RGB XMP 3.0 certified. Yep. Will not run at 6400. Won't even post. Nope. You can turn it down. So I have to run it at 6,000. It says it's supported. The motherboard lists overclock 6,400 supported. Yep. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It will not even post to the BIOS screen. So it do, you can go out and buy anything you want, but that doesn't mean it's going to work. Correct. So we've got a while before you've got something worth replacing. Rob, thank you very much for the question and the support.